Hello and welcome to Frugal Fellows Fashion. We're going to be teaching you my own invention today. It's called the Hyrule Knot. What's really cool, just like I've mentioned before, is you're going to tie it with this end, which is the um, big end, and then you're going to end it up with the little end. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. What you're going to do, you start off with the seam side out. Um, go ahead and cross the little end over the big and bring the big end up and over, making sure to leave it on the same side. Um, if you brought it over here, that would be a Kelvin knot, but we're doing a, actually not a Nikki knot, but we're doing a Pratt foundation here. Go ahead and bring it over the front and up through the back. And that's how you'll do the first part. Go ahead and bring it through. I'm going through this part pretty quickly because it's a really simple foundation to this tie and the cool part of this knot is actually what we're going to do in a minute here. Um, go ahead and adjust that up to your neck. Um, this is a key part of this tie because if you don't get this up adjusted enough then you'll end up with it really loose once we start working with the back end here. Okay. And see, there we go. So what you're going to do next, make sure to get that out of the way. Um, you'll take the tail end of the tie, remember it's still seam side out, you're going to cross it over the front. This is the bottom part of that um, Triforce, if you remember from the Zelda games. And kind of bring it around the back just enough to hold it with your thumb here. You can see me holding it with my thumb. This will keep the bottom part straight. And bring that tie up and over to the side. And this will help build the second part of that knot. Take the tail end, bring it around the back, and up over the top again. And what you've done here is you've created a little loop to bring that through, and that will help keep things nice and tight. So go ahead and bring that tail end right through there. Need a little adjustment here. There we go. And see how easy it is to make it loose if you're not careful. And there you go. I know that was a quick video, but that's actually a pretty easy knot. You still end up with that dimple hair, dimple there. And this ends up like a cape. And you can use a, um, a tie clip to kind of finish that off. And there you go. If you kind of tilt over to the side, you see how it really makes that triangle shape of the Triforce. Bring down your collar. And there you go, that's the high rule nut. It's, like I said, it's my own invention. I really like this one. This actually works really well if you have a spread collar because you can really see that whole triangle come. But if you have a normal one like this, this is still cool, it still looks great. Um, this tie is gonna look really good, mainly with contrast um, ties, like with a contrasting tail end. If you don't have one, it still works, and you still kind of get that look, but it really stands out when you have a contrast tie. And there you go. Go ahead and send me your pictures on these. I'm over on Facebook. That's going to be over here. You'll see my links over here. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and just send them to me. Tell me how you like them. And we'll talk to you guys later.